Before Mass begins, I just have a quick announcement. This coming Thursday is the Solemnity of the Ascension of the Lord, a Holy Day of Obligation. So we will be having Mass on Thursday morning at 10 a.m. On Thursday morning, they will, there will be no 8 a.m. Mass. We will have it on uh, Thursday morning at 10 a.m. So keep, uh, keep in mind about that. I will make a post later on today. And one moment. Sorry, forgot about that for weekend from weekend mass. So we are now, uh, good morning, we are celebrating mass today for Monday, May 18th. It is Monday of the sixth week of Easter. Christ, having risen from the dead, dies now no more. Death will no longer have dominion over him. Alleluia. Alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The strife is o'er, the battle done. Now is the victor's triumph won. Oh, let the song of praise be sung. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Good morning again, everyone. Good morning, <clears> Father. We continue our Easter journey now into the sixth week of Easter celebration. And we begin in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the grace and the peace of God our Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. And as always, we begin first by repairing our relationship with our God through the great sacrament of forgiveness, the pits. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my, in my words, words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fall, through my, my fall, through my, my most grievous fall. Therefore, therefore I ask, the Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O merciful God, that we may experience at all times the fruit produced by the Paschal observances. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> reading from the Acts of the Apostles. <clears throat> we set out, we set sail from Troas, making a straight run for Sermonthrace, and on the next day in Neapolis, and from there to Philippi, a leading city in the district of Macedonia and a Roman colony. We spent some time in that city. On the Sabbath, we went outside the city gate along the river where we thought there would be a place for prayer. We sat and spoke with the women who had gathered there. <clears throat> and one of them, a woman named Lydia, a dealer in purple cloth from the city of Teresia, a worshiper of God, listened. And the Lord opened her heart to pay attention to what Paul was, was saying. <clears throat> After she and her husband and her household had been baptized, she offered us an invitation. If you can consider me a believer in the Lord, come and stay at my home. And she prevailed on us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> and our response to God's word is, the Lord takes delight 
in his people. The Lord takes delight in his people. <clears throat> Sing to the Lord a new song, a praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their maker, let her children of Zion rejoice in their king. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let them praise his name in the festive dance. <clears throat> Let them sing praise to him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord loves his people, and he adorns the lowly with victory. The Lord takes delight in his people. <clears throat> Let the faithful exult in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is the glory of the faithful, of the faithful, alleluia. The Lord takes delight in his people. <clears throat> alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, when the advocate comes, whom I will send you from the Father. The Spirit of truth who proceeds from the Father, he will testify to me. And you also testify, because you have been with me from the beginning. I have told you this so that you may not fall away. They will expel you from the synagogues. In fact, the hour is coming when everyone who kills you will think he is offering worship to God. They will do this because <clears throat> they have not known either the Father or me. I have told you this so that when the hour comes, you may remember that I told you the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning again, everyone. <clears throat> Good morning. Monday. Good morning, Father. You know, we continually read from this of these Acts of the Apostles. It's, it's, a, it's an amazing story when you think about the travels that Paul made in these cities, most of which I couldn't even pronounce, but he was there. And uh, I know he traveled by, by ship and by all kind of other means of transportation that were available to him then, but nothing luxurious, very, very, lots of hardship, really. And he met a lot of opposition, as, as they all did, and, uh, and, but still he kept on. <clears throat> but we're on a journey as well. Our journey began at the time of our baptisms, and uh, we're continuing it, <clears throat> and maybe we don't have to go to all those strange cities and travel that terrible way that Paul did, but still we have to travel. We have to try him on earth. We, um, we sometimes had some hardships, some setbacks, some problems, some disappointments, but always, and I think this has been <clears> the <throat> experience of my life, always, always someone or something, some event, cheers us on, keeps us going. That advocate that, that Jesus talked about, we hear more and more about it now because we're getting close to Pentecost Sunday when we celebrate the coming of the Spirit. <clears throat> the advocate is there. The advocate is there helping us through the, to rejoice in the good moments and to kind of have courage during the hard moments. And we certainly are having hard moments now, something that none of us ever, ever thought we would be enduring. And we get a little glimpse of hope once in a while that this virus may be getting under control and then we hear a story of where it's flaring up again. So we have to be cautious, we have to be, <clears throat> have to protect ourselves from, from it. And we continue our lockdowns here at the church and the parish is pretty much on, on hold for a while. But there's always something in the midst of this that gives us a little inspiration, a little courage. And hopefully these morning masses and reflections will help you all out there to uh, continue the, the journey through all of this. And I know people have said various things, messages to us here at the parish and uh, very encouraging. I know uh, I don't want to mention this money, but it, it's, it's, it's an issue that I want to address, I think. <clears throat> we worried about that because we have to pay our bills anyway. But people have been so generous and so wonderful. Uh, I, I just, I'm just amazed at, 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 at the way they, so many, so many people have continued to bring in their offering because they know their parish has to get through this as well as they do. 
And I'm sure many of them who are doing that <clears throat> are having their own financial struggles and challenges, but what an encouragement that is, and I'm so grateful to all who have been doing, doing that. God bless you all. So anyway, let's continue on our journey, as Paul did, <clears throat> and if we have setbacks and so forth, the one phrase at the end of the gospel this morning says, Jesus said, when these things happen, don't forget that I told you so. And so we know that Jesus warned us of it, but not only warned us, <clears throat> but also gave us the means to endure it. God bless, have a good day. So we continue to pray for <clears throat> those who have been chosen uh, leaders of our, of our church, pastoral leaders, especially Pope Francis in, in Rome, such a wonderful man he is, who um, is such an inspiration of faith and the presence of Jesus. Let's continue to pray for our wonderful Holy Father, Pope Francis. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for our Bishop, Bishop Van Vera, of our own Diocese of Sprint and our own local church. <clears throat> Especially during this time, when he tries to guide the church through this pandemic and also at the time when he's looking at pastoral assignments to fill the various roles in the church with a shortage of clergy that's getting more severe every day. But the Spirit will guide us through that as well. And he's a certain, Bishop Ambera is certainly a witness to that reality. So let's just pray for him. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Once again, I'd like to pray for, unfortunately we still have to do this, uh, all those who have died yesterday of the coronavirus, those who will die today and those who will die tomorrow, almost in our own country, 90,000 people have died from the virus. Let's just pray for them, for the repose of their souls, and for their grieving families and friends. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We've been hearing more about the, uh, the, the uh, uh, Navajo Nation out of Wyoming and uh, I think South Dakota, I just forget exactly the states, but it's a huge land area with almost 200,000 people who are the Native Americans who were here before we got here. And uh, this virus is also affecting them very severely. So let's just pray for the Navajo Nation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let's pause now for our own intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we very confidently ask Mary's intercession. Hail, Hail Mary, Mary, full of grace, grace. the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, sinners, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. <clears throat> and by the mystery of this water and wine, May we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who has humbled himself to share in our humanity. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness <clears throat> we have this wine to offer, the fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. And now pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. <clears throat> Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exalted church, 
And as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant that also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always at all times, to acclaim you, O Lord, but at this time, above all, to praise you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful, for his death is our ransom from death, and his rising, the life of all, has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people, exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers, with the angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again, until you come again. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. And humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, all the religious, the clergy, and all those who are living the vocation of motherhood. Remember also our brothers and our sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And this morning we also remember all our deceased mothers and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. <clears throat> have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with Saint Faustina and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> and now at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> and the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now let us share Christ's peace with one another. Peace. Peace, Father. And peace to everyone who is viewing at home this morning as well. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And may the body of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. <clears throat> and may the blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Jesus stood in the midst of his disciples and said to them, Peace be with you. Alleluia. One bread, one body, one cup, one call, one faith, one spirit, Presence in us all, one prayer, one blessing, one hope, one peace, one church, one people, one love released. Is not this bread we share, the body of our Lord? Is not this wine we drink, the blood of Christ outpoured? One bread, one body, one cup, one call, one faith, one spirit, present in us all. One prayer, one blessing, one hope, one peace, one church, one people, one love released. In an act of spiritual communion, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, 
Come with me spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself fully to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Hail, holy queen and throne above, O Maria. Hail, mother of mercy and of love, O Maria. Triumph, all ye cherubim, Sing with us, ye seraphim, heaven and earth, resound the hymn. Sahave, 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 Regina. And our prayer to St. Michael. St. Michael, Michael the, the Archangel. Archangel. Defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all other evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you are pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection. <clears throat> now we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <clears throat> the Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another. Thanks be to God. God bless and have a wonderful day again. Stay safe. You too, Father. Thank you. Jesus Christ is risen today. Hallelujah. Our triumphant holy day. Hallelujah. Who did once upon the cross Hallelujah! Suffer to redeem our loss. Hallelujah! Thank you again, everybody, for joining in with us for Mass today. As a reminder, as I said in the beginning, for the Holy Day on Thursday, for the Ascension of the Lord, Mass will be celebrated at 10 a.m. Eastern Time, not at 8 a.m. on Thursday. On Thursday, we will celebrate at 10 a.m. because it's the Holy Day uh, of Obligation, the Ascension of the Lord. So, uh, but tomorrow, Tuesday, we will be back at 8 a.m. Wednesday, 6 p.m. as normal. Thursday is the only day that's uh, changed. So thank you again, everyone, for joining us uh, with us today. As Father said, we hope you stay safe and healthy. You all have a great day. Uh, God bless. Happy Easter. He is risen. Alleluia.